person says, listen, I know that's haram, but I, you know, Allah is forgiving. And you know Allah is so forgiving? I'm so blessed. I get to do so much sadaqah in Ramadan. And I get, I fast every Monday and every Thursday. And I do this and I do, and you're, you've got lots of small good deeds going on. And you're secretly helping somebody get a job. And you're giving charity and you're volunteering and you're donating blood and you're all this stuff. But all this stuff is really good. It feels good to do good things. But it's masking that like something of the kabair is actually going on. Yeah, I own like four liquor stores, but I, I mean, I use the money for a good cause. I go to Hajj every year with beer money, you know? So I don't drink it. I just drink the Zamzam when I go there. So you, know, you still have a drinking problem, <laughs> you know? So, so what happens then is when you have this twisted sense of proportion, you try to compensate for that in your own ways. You tell yourself, hey, listen, I know I'm messed up and I'm doing some kaba'ir al ithm, but because I'm doing these little, little good things, it's not like Allah is not going to count any of it. So you're assuming that's how it works. And you're hoping that because you love to do these good things, but you also love to do these major sins, that you can hold on to all of the stuff that you love and not step out of your comfort zone. These ayat are, the concepts of these ayat are intertwined with each other. Kitabun uhkimat ayatuhu. A book whose ayat are stitched together with each other. Then, you get, if you stay long enough in the twisted sense of proportion, your religion entirely, you call yourself a Muslim, but it's a totally different religion. It's, it's not the same religion anymore. Because the, our religion is defined by what is the priority and what is not, actually. Human beings will be informed on Judgment Day, what did they make a priority and what did they delay? So whatever's not as priority has to get delayed. When small things become your prior, priority, that means big things get delayed. And when big things get delayed, you get a, the thing that's on your mind the most starts shaping your worldview. It starts shaping your thought process. It starts shaping your opinion of things. When someone, for example, is obsessed with tajweed. Obsessed. Tajweed is great. I love tajweed. Obsessed with tajweed. When they're praying, all they're thinking about is what? MashaAllah, that qalqala though. That mud, I was counting one, two, three. It was perfect. Allahu Akbar. To them, the religion itself, even though they're not saying it, the religion itself has become what? Tajweed. And when someone says Qur'an, they're not thinking the hikmah of the Qur'an, the wisdom of the Qur'an, the guidance of the Qur'an, the reminder of the Qur'an, the thinking through the Qur'an, the instructions of the Qur'an. You know what they're thinking? The ghunna of the Qur'an, the qalqala of the Qur'an. I love Qur'an. When they say I love Qur'an, they mean something else. It's a different religion now. This shift in what the religion means to you, that happens when the sense of proportion is twisted.